Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. With the Bangkok Hi-Fi Show. Here it is. First day. First day at the show. Dad, your, your tapes are meeting their maker. Uh, Man, I have to put this on Facebook, huh? <laughs> it's so pretty, Woody. Good job, man. Thanks. Good job. Who, who did it? The girls, the girl, huh? One of the girls. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, the tape thing, man. The tape thing's happening. Look at all these different tapes you can get. Chad is admiring his own his own works. <laughs> and why not? Hey, do a better job. Hey, Chad, this is your main supporter. Huh? Is that right? How Hi. you doing? How you doing? What's your name? My name is Not. Not? Yeah. Note. N O T E. Yeah. yeah right. Oh, good name for music, huh? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So, yeah, what kind of tape machine you have? Yeah. Doesn't have a tape machine. Just buying the tapes. Studio. Yeah, studio. I have two studios. Yeah, nice, nice. Hey, he's, hey. He's he treat me good, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, we have fun in Thailand. We love it. We love it. Yeah. Well, thanks for the support. We keep reinvesting for it. Cold trade. Woo woo. Yeah, yeah. How many times you heard this? <laughs> So this is the Audio Excellence Room, and this is all American equipment, and there's Matt Weisfeld from VPI. Hey guys, it's uh, good to see you all here in Thailand. Well, they're at home, we're in Thailand. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yes. Damn it, man, I'm jet lagged. Okay, so what do we have here? We have. Uh, the VPI Titan. Okay, yeah, so uh, we have uh, the Titan. Um, this is, uh, well, the first showing of it with the rose gold finish. Uh, we were hoping to get the uh, whole Titan here in rose gold, but we just couldn't make it in time. So uh, all the metal parts are gonna be in that rose, yes. rose oh, gold. Oh yeah, uh, Wooty requested that, and I actually thought he was he was pulling my leg. Yeah. And then he sent me, I, I photoshopped uh, a picture, put it on Facebook. People and he loved it. Oh yeah, yeah, they went nuts. And then uh, Wooty was like, I need it, I need it. I'm like, oh, oh um, we're having a real conversation here. Every part uh, this the, the motor housing will probably be uh, black anodized, but the accents uh, like the motor plate, the, the rim drive, the platter will all be rose gold. And again, it's a uh, rim drive motor driving uh, the bottom platter uh, to magnetically drive the top platter. So the master platter uh, is driving the slave. So what, is, what does this turntable cost in a regular finish? Regular fi uh, finish would be forty thousand, forty thousand USD. And you can you can start with a lower lower yes. price point upgrade to this. You can start with the uh, VPI Avenger at ten thousand. And right. over time, you can actually upgrade all the way up to the $40,000 model. And, okay. and when you've done that, does it cost any extra as opposed to if you'd bought it? Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of an upcharge yeah. uh, if you do it over time. Um, I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it's uh, essentially you do get the better pricing uh, right. by getting the Avenger, Avenger Plus, Avenger Reference, right. or Titan right off the bat. Right. And this uses our pneumatic air suspension feet, so later you can hit the table if you want there, Michael. Um, has our uh, uh, 3D reference tone arm uh, with the and this carbon fiber finish is really just that it's just the finish it's not real carbon fiber um, and we also have our fat boy which is uh, uh, our JMW Titan which right. is somewhere, Where is that? It's somewhere. Oh, we'll, find oh, we'll find it later we'll find it later using the uh, Nordos reference um, reference two wire and uh, yeah you can mount up the three tone arms any major finish uh, we put a bunch of SMEs a bunch of Grahams a bunch of fantastic tone arms paired with this table because you're, you're agnostic about that. If a customer wants to buy your table and put another brand arm on it, you're okay with it. Exactly. Because and you're a mature individual. Well, thank well, you're you. not. But, but no. you're in that regard, you are. <laughs> but realistically, I hope all manufacturers, uh, turntable manufacturers, I mean, hey, if you love my table, great. Maybe you just don't like my tone arm. I'm not going to take it personally. That's your preference. You want to put a Graham on there? It's a phenomenal uh, tone arm. SME, whatever. What There's a, that Italian uh, tone arm, the Mork. More? That's a Danish, I think. Danish, yeah. whatever it is. We put a bunch of them on there. Yeah. There's yeah. lots of good arms. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got the Spectral Electronics. And uh, this is an all American system here in, in Bangkok. This is a pair of Avalon acoustic speakers. Rick Fryer's Spectral Electronics. Rick 
does not give review samples out, so you've never seen spectral review in, in decades, probably. See you later. Let's see what else is here. Here's the, this is the magazine that sponsors the show. What Hi-Fi Thailand? Hi. Wow, look at this. this is nicely put together book. Turn to the VPI page, and there's the hit Parasound, and there's uh, Jeff Rowland, all the audio, audio excellence stuff. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is the seminar room, where I will be speaking later on. That's the pay telephone here. I think it's pretty cool looking. So the entire show is actually in this corridor, all the way down this corridor of this enormous convention center. And right around the corner is a, uh, what appears to be an industrial exhibit of uh, large-scale building management air conditioning systems. I mean, it's pretty interesting. Actually, some of this stuff sounds better than the hi-fi in the other room. to see part of what goes on. This, this place is enormous. Okay, now we're back to high five. I feel better. This is the uh, AMG DSW. Hi, hi, hi. Nice to see you again. <laughs> The, the cartridge guys. The cartridge guys, here the they are. Guys. Glass nosed. Yes. We could be competitors and friends. Competitors and friends. Yes. A, that's good. I like yes. that. Friends, like friends first, competitors next, or whatever. Whatever. Exactly. Yeah. And we help each other. Okay, they've got Canton, they have SVS. Doing a real to real thing here. There's Jeff Rowland in front of his electronics. All right, Jeff. Chad's taking his picture. So, the first time I go to Hong Kong, I think it was like 1990, <laughs> yeah. and uh, Jeff was there, right? So we're walking down the street, like what would be Beale Street or Bourbon Street. In Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, like the main street. And people, this is how crazy audiophiles are in Asia. They didn't recognize him on the street. On the street. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're talking downtown, busy as hell, Everybody going crazy, and this guy, he's like Michael Jordan over there. Well, yeah, oh, he's big. Oh, Jeff. Well, yeah, that too, but... He stands out in the crowd. He's like, hey, this is Jeff Rowland. How you doing? I'm like, and it just blew my mind. Is that an ego boost? <laughs> no, no, I guess that. <laughs> These are acoustic solid turntables from Germany. And they've got old school Riga arms on there. And it looks like a Denon 103 on that one. And this is a Ornithon MC Vivo. I don't even think I know that. Today is not, not expected to be too crowded because it's Thursday. And uh oh, most records. Uh oh. I should look for the records, but I'm not, I won't. Let's see. We'll come back later. I'll be good. While angry from Manchester, rights to complain about all repeats on TV. And the Macintosh group will. And computer terminals, rebel song gates, on the values of copper and... So there's the Ref 10 line stage. While American businessmen step on the ground. The Ref 3, I reviewed that. For the price 
of a hospital wing. Check it together, me and, and the people that are going to watch this. Okay, so these are like, you know, your regular reel-to-reel, -reel commercially duplicated tapes. Oops, some CDs. Oh, this is good. Rosemary Clooney and uh, Perez Pirano, I know that. Oh, the pines are, oh. How much is that? Uh, $100. Hundred dollar. Yeah, that's what I figured. I figured it's out of my price, out of my price point. I believe right now it costs a lot more. I think Arthur Lyman's greatest is probably more. Oh wow, this too. I bet you this is. So this is also probably a hundred bucks, right? Uh, more. More than a hundred bucks. Uh, of course. Classic. What else? Oh. A take five. I don't even want to ask how much that is. This is fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. That's that's pretty good too, actually. We have a Scheherazade. Yes. This is the most expensive one here. Mm, not 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 the. Uh, no. But but it uh, one hundred and fifty US dollars. One hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Of course, that demo. Yeah, that one is a more expensive one. This one. one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> this could wake Harry Pearson from the grave. Wow, these are amazing that you have these here. I'm just showing them and that's all I'm going to do. I'm certainly not going to buy any right now. Hmm, I, 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 just, I just very skeptical about this being from the master tape. I, 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 my assumption is this is done from an SACD. That's my assumption. It's just too... Uh, we checked the quality already. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Many of them, many kind of music. I don't know how they get the license or, or, or the, the master tape. I, I, I saw those. <laughs> yeah, I don't, e I don't either. I don't either. How, how much is that? Uh, 300. 300 US dollar. Yeah, because an original vinyl pressing of this costs more than $300. <laughs> I can't stay away from the records. I can't stay away from the records. But I have to stay. Well, I'll look at the records later. I can't look at the records now. Leave you me. See what's in here. It's not a, not a very large show. This room is empty. So you're seeing gamut, cables, Rebecca Pigeon. There she is. And these are big gamuts. And this is a uh, this is a Townsend rock turntable. Hmm.
very big American presence here. I gotta see what Wilson's getting up here. Okay, we're gonna see Focal, the name, Micro Omega. of Mark Levinson. So what, what kind of music is this? Are these? It's, this is like anime? What? Anime song. I've never, I've never seen anything like that. Are this, these new? Are these new records? Or? Older. Uh, wow, I've never seen Soccer records, and this is all yeah. Japanese anime. Yes, yeah, 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 and yeah. That's a nice one. And this stuff is becoming really collectible. Prices are pretty high here. Just for the covers alone. I hope you're enjoying this. Dragon Quest and Brass. I wish they could play one of these so I could hear what it sounds like. Too expensive to try when I used to hear it. Symphonic Suite, Dragon Quest. <laughs> the artwork is fantastic. <laughs> Spider ish.
ขอทั้งพ่อทั้งลูกพ่อก็บอกไปขอที่ลูกเอามือไม่ขอโยมไปโยมไปต้องเราบอกเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยว I just imagine Quentin Tarantino enjoying this, although he hates fire. <laughs> anyway. Thank you.